I'm delighted to say that I'm joined by Tim Reed and his bike. So Tim, just tell me, when did you start riding this bike? So I got this bike before Ironman Australia in May. Um, it was the, it's the same bike that I've been riding for the last two years. It's just a bit more of a flash uh, paint job. Okay, and what's your best result on this? Um, I had a three or four podium finishes on it and then my last race in uh, at Ironman 70.3 Philippines, one of my favourite events, so I managed to do the fastest bike split and, and win that race. Wow, yeah. so that's a pretty speedy bike. Do yeah. you want to just talk us through it, like some of your favourite parts of it and just start wherever you like, but go into a little bit of detail. Okay, so I'll go from the front to the back. Um, right. I run a Aeolus 7, um, tubeless ready, clincher, wheel for pretty much 90% of my races. Um, I love that it's, it's fairly deep, but it still handles really well in crosswinds. Um, you can set it up tubeless, which I have done for a few races. Um, and, and it's aerodynamic as a lot of the, well, as bad as anything else out there. So yeah. really happy with the front wheel. As you can see, I've got sort of the upward tilt. The great thing about the Trek Speed concept is you can really adjust the front end okay. a thousand different ways. And I really like an upward tilt so that um, I'm not slipping forward on my pads. Um, as you can see, quite a high hand position here. Have you, have you always had this set up or is it something you've changed No, recently? actually this is something that's evolved over the last six months. Okay. Um, I was having a lot of back issues and essentially I brought my position forward and, uh, and came into an actual more aerodynamic position by bringing it forward and um, it's more stable by having those pads, uh, those yeah. bars tilted upward. Um, running the Durace 9100. Um, you know, ever since I went to um, the Durace electronic shifting, I actually held off for quite a while. I was, just had a little bit of a thing with it, like, oh, I don't know how to fix it if something goes wrong. Okay. And, but once I went to it, I was almost slapping myself for not doing it and what were you using years before? earlier. I was just using Shimano, uh, the non-electronic. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Mechanical. So. I bet quite a few people would be surprised at that. So. But yeah, I did that until 2003. 14 so right, wow. took me a while yep. and do you ride with your power what do you have on your on um, screen when you're when you're racing so i've got a garmin 510 i think it is um and i have power cadence speed and heart rate but i probably won't use heart rate for this race typically for ironman events i will really follow my heart rate yep. uh i'm actually thinking of not running it at all for this race i just um I've had my best races when I don't look at it and yeah. I just race if I feel. And, Do you still record and, it? And that's why I'd probably have it. If I was going to take it, it would be not really to look at it that much. I mean, yeah. at a maybe at a training race where I really need some motivation to watch the numbers and, and rev the engine, um, then I would use, the, use it a lot. Yeah. But in a world championship, the motivation's there. I know when I'm going hard. Um, I don't really feel like I need to see what the watts are telling me. Uh, so I'm running a 55 outer chainring and a 42 inner chainring. I actually run one six two and a half size cranks, so quite a small yeah. crank, which allows me to have God, that, that bigger is. bigger yeah. chainring. Okay. Um, I think. Have if you experimented with that? Is that something you've recently changed? Or? Uh, no, I've had that for the last two years. It's something that I find in a time trial position makes me a lot more comfortable, particularly over 180 kilometres. I think the industry's been very slow to adapt to a range of crank lengths, given that we're all very different sizes. It's bizarre to me that there's three major crank length size. Yeah. So I think in the future we'll see a wider range and more people going um, both ends of the spectrum. Yep. Uh, Shimano Durace pedals. What's, what's you got going on here? Uh, that's just a little uh, aero cover that I made up <laughs> okay with yeah you can buy the carbon piece and you just essentially cut it and tape it onto the crank set have so, you had it tested does it make uh i haven't pedals? done any testing on it um most of the, most of the things i add on like that are just to intimidate competitors <laughs> i'm not sure <laughs> <Secret whether. that>. <laughs> <laughs> so working way back got a um 25 11 um cassette on the back i found on this climb that's about as um small a gear as i need to climb um at race pace. So that's that's essentially most of the bike covered. I'll be running a disc. What tyre um, what have you got on the back? What width? Uh, I'm running a 25 on the back and a 23 mm mil tyre on the front. And what yep. pressure do you run? Uh, this, this course is actually pretty rough, so um, I'll probably run 90 in the back and 90 in the front. What's your favourite sound on the bike? Uh, my favourite sound is silence. If, if it's <laughs> silent, it means that the bike is there's not much friction, the bike's flowing smoothly, I can't handle uh, little ticks or, yeah. and uh, that's been 
the, the great thing about this this bike is uh, one of the great things is that it just all works. You know, there's some really aero fast time trial bikes out there, but the brake sees there's they're a nightmare to pull apart. Um, the practicality of this bike, combined with the fact that it's as fast as anything out there, is yeah. is what I love about it. Cool. And yeah. finally, just because a lot of our viewers want to see this or hear it, more importantly, can you give us a free hub sound? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Well, there you go. Great, Tim. Thanks so much for your time. Really interesting insight to your bike. Now, if you want to subscribe to GTN, just click on the globe. And if you want to catch up on our latest show, click down here. And if you want to watch a video comparing time trial bike to road bike, click here. Great.